sometimes in the course of battle. Units are forced to take on roles that they had no expectation nor desire to take on. AA guns turning their, their equipment against infantry. Uh, artillery switching to direct fire to get, take on tanks. Bombers taking on the role of fighters and interceptors. This is one of those battles. Good evening, I'm Old Dead Man. Welcome to the channel and welcome to War Thunder. In this fight, you'll see that uh, I was at the last stages of spading out my PBM Mariner. And this plane was uh, just one more step from it. And this match, we're at the very end of the match. They've already taken out nearly all of our base. And yet they have two bombers still in the air. Our last fighter, unfortunately, he went down and that was his complaint his not complaint but his uh, comments on us needing to take it on and so we go into gunship mode back and forth we're going we we are fighting each other we're firing on each other uh, trying to get that so he's trying to get there so he can drop his bombs over the base. I'm trying to prevent him from getting there. Uh, each time we get closer, the guns start firing. We start going to town. Uh, he and I are both taking control of our of our gunners to try and get the best possible shots on it on each other and making these passes almost like naval vessels in the age of sail, where two ships would get within range and they would and they would train their guns on each other and try to, to broadside each other to death and back and forth. And yet this last minutes as we try and try and uh, get our our situation resolved, each of us trying to kill each other, at points chasing, other times swerving away, swerving back towards each other, trying to force each other off course. And I'll tell you honestly, I wish I had this guy as my cameraman because he has some awesome shots of of my plane like this one right here uh, and just where you can just see him and you can see him firing at me and we're just going to town on each other I take damage at this point one of my engines is uh, leaking oil uh, the damage is not too severe though so I'm still in the fight he however has lost an engine so that's just why I'm able to actually um, stick with him and keep up with him otherwise he'd be out running me and back and forth strafing each other, making strafing passes and, and broadsiding each other with our guns, and just back and forth and back and forth. Now, if he gets past, there's a roadway you can make out right there on the screen. If he gets past that roadway and drops his bombs, he's got us. It's that, that close, literally that close. He's finally on fire and he's down. And down he goes, and he lands, and he hits literally just short of that roadway. There's still one more bomber, though. And he has an altitude advantage over me. I don't know why his flaps were out. I know that he was probably trying to get away from the B-17. He's already taken some damage. But it's me and between him and our airfield. So I'm literally going underneath him, and I am lighting him up with everything I've got. Every gun, every turret. And it's going to be tight. Watch his bomb target here. You'll see that roadway one more time. But he is not lined up with the run, with our airfield. He gets past. He makes a drop, but he's just enough off. And there's the kill. It was a fought, a hard fought. We were going to tooth and nail. Uh, both of these bombers really went the mi extra mile trying to get their delivery through and yet my teammate and I managed to stand between them and use our turrets to take them down. You have a great rest of the day. We'll see you in War Thunder.